All right, guys. I uh, was looking to get the uh, Kakaras we talked about on the last show to taste actually on the next show, but it's not available yet, or at least it wasn't when I went to check. So I went and I found the actual, the absolute last bottle of this. I think that's Bearded Guard. I have no fucking idea what... Uh, oh, I'm sorry, we have a clean tag. I don't know what uh, what else to call it. It says, right on it, Brewery Vivian Bearded Guard. It's from New Belgium. It's that Lips Faith series, as you can see on the bottle. So, uh, all it really says about this is this is ale brewed with orange peel. Which... Uh, had a lot of beers with the orange peel in them, so they're super exciting. I went to San Diego Brew Fest last night, so you can see I have my Bruise Up hat on. I have my nice Bruise Up beer, you know, beer. Uh, I have a koozie, but this is a, a coaster. Cool thing about this is <laughs> it's a bottle opener coaster, which is, you know, killing Two birds with one stone. So let's pour this out into my bruise up glass. I'm going to drink the whole thing, so I'm just going to pour it out. I was just going to taste it, but uh, never the same afterwards. So, you know, it has about a, a maybe a finger and a half head. Pretty uh, transparent and clear. Uh, good lacing on the side of the glass. All that technical beer stuff we talk about, but let's get down to the nitty gritty. I'm going to actually be a little bit, not vague, but uh, I'm going to try to relay what I get from this in better terms. A little bit more in layman's terms. I listened to... Uh, Beer Geek Radio, and uh, I think those guys are fantastic with the way they do that stuff, so. So I'm definitely getting some hop and a little bit of citrusy. I, th I think I can, I'm picking up the orange peel in this. Uh, I couldn't probably identify this orange peel. It smells a little bit like the, the, that white, part of an orange peel. I, I I don't know what you call that. It's not a rind. Yeah, and that, that's about what I'm getting from this beer. So, my assumption of this beer before I even taste it, it, it smells very much like a session beer, your typical lagers and stuff like that that you get from Macro Brew. Maybe it's on suspecting. Give it a taste, both ways. Let's try this first. Yeah, so that beer is unsuspecting because it smells 100%. I would have said on the smell, if not for the fact that all we ever do on Maltcast is hate on AB InBev and, and Miller and Coors and, you know, you're a... Uh, typical macro brew stuff I would have said it it smells a lot like that that's not how it tasted when I tasted that you get orange 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 uh, I'm actually excited to taste that again that's a very very good beer um, not a lot of hop characteristic in it. it it's not overly bitter this is a beer that you know I'd let my girlfriend drink I let my wife drink. So uh, let's try it the other way and, and see what it tastes like. A little bit shocking. I was shocked to taste what I tasted in that one the first time. So I would say... What I'm getting from that one is a lot of orange finish afterwards. Um, 
drinking it that way, it was a little bit more akin to some of those big beer macro brew lagers I talked about, but comes with a strong orange finish at the end. So if one of those guys was to go out and you know, brew something that had uh, that was infused with orange. This is kind of what I would expect it to taste like. I'm gonna drink the rest of this beer, like always, but I'm gonna drink it probably the first way I had it because it was really good the first way, and it's not that it's bad the second way. It's just that it's not quite what I'm looking for in a beer, and I, I mean. We've done a hundred of these videos, and we've talked about it. Okay, maybe not a hundred, maybe like five. But uh, <laughs> we've talked a lot on the show about the Kunz beers we drink. This is a little bit lighter than I typically go. And it's not that I prefer an amber style or something like that. But uh, even your IPAs and stuff are usually a little bit darker than this. Maybe a little bit cloudier. Not a great big fan of this, I guess, style of beer. And I have to do more research on it to see if it's uh, something, you know, it, it says ale. So it's definitely not a lager. But uh, this, I don't know. I, I would give this beer out of, uh, you know, out of 10, I'd probably get a bit like four. I wouldn't seek this beer out to drink it but lips faith series as i understand according to our last episode this this is uh should be phasing out brewery vivant vivant beer de garde um four to ten for me it isn't hebrew origin but uh it's not Aztec sacrifice. Anyways, guys, till next time, keep brewing.